Hey guys, this is me, Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA. It is 12.30 p.m. Sunday, April the 30th, 2017, and I've taken up ice hockey. No, actually, <laughs> these, are, these are knee pads. And let me get my camera situated here, and, and I'll finish the video. But anyway, those, those are uh, they're called AWR, I think, or AWP. Uh, knee pads you can get them at Lowe's and they were five dollars and 29 cents a pair anyway let me set the camera I got to turn the camera around no I didn't take up ice hockey it wouldn't surprise anybody though would it but anyway I'm setting the camera up and I've got it facing the wrong way <laughs> okie dokie we're working here guys we're working I don't know how this is going to work. I got the camera reversed. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I'll go ahead and continue the video. These are AWP, if you can see me. I hope I didn't screw it up too bad. But these are AWP, if I can get one off here. They, they Velcro on and off. I say they Velcro, here it is. They Velcro on and off. And why do I have knee pads? Well, because I got to thinking about some, one of the comments somebody had made regarding climbing in and out of the truck and crawling around. And so I got out there and crawled around the other day and practiced getting in and out of my truck using a step, uh, which is a bucket that I've been using. But anyway, I'll get a better step or else I'll get a better bucket in one of the two. But anyway, these um, are knee pads. I hope this is right. I mean, I've got the camera around backwards so I can't see what it's recording. But anyway, they're just like hard styrofoam. They probably wouldn't last too long if you were using them on, on the job. But for what I'm going to use them for, they'll be quite adequate. And the price was really right, $5.29 at Lowe's. And anyway, they got, this stretches. You see that? So they adjust. They're really easy to slip on and off. And I like that. And they're just, they're, they're basically no weight to them at all. I don't, if you put them on the scales, you couldn't even weigh them. But anyway, yeah, they... They stretch like that. So yeah, they work okay. They're easy to slip on and off. So that met two requirements. And the other one was it had to be cheap. That was the third requirement. And they are cheap, which is fine. So we got that out of the way. Now, as far as climbing in and out of the truck, uh, you know, that's one of the things. Of course, you think you're bulletproof when you're 71 years old like me. In your mind, you're still thinking you're 19. And, uh, you know, life is just a bowl of cherries. And it is. Uh, it really is. Life is a bowl of cherries. And well, let me give you some more info on these right quick. Here, here's the deal. AWP, uh, whatever, <clears throat> knee pads. Yeah. But they work fine. You, you can get them at Lowe's. AWP, you can probably get them on the internet anywhere. Cheap as dirt. And uh, they work fine. So... <clears throat> But anyway, as to the truck camping, I've got a, a camper top coming in in a couple of weeks, or hopefully less, maybe. We'll see about that. And uh, I'm, you know, getting down to the short part, you understand, I'm, where everything's starting to come together. And uh, so I've been doing some measurements and stuff. I even set the uh, chair, my folding chair in the back of the truck and saw how much head clearance I have. It's going to be close. Uh, I'm supposed to have about five inches above the cab, and if that's true, we'll be very, it'll be very close. Uh, I can work I can work pretty good with three, and as far as the cot and the bed and everything, I've got that done. I got the lighting and all that stuff. I got the fan. Y'all probably saw the video of the O2 cool fan, and I'm going to do another video of that here in just a little bit because I got a modification that I'm going to do to it to make it even cooler uh, inside the camper top. But anyway, just wanted to give you a heads up on the AWP knee pads from Lowe's Hardware, very lightweight. Basically, they're just looks feels like some kind of hard styrofoam, but uh, they probably wear like iron. They'll they'll suffice for what I want to do because I crawled in and out of the truck just now about five times, and uh, I say I crawled in and out. I mean I got in and out and used the knee pads to move around on. Very comfortable, not an issue at all. So that little hurdle has been overcome. And with me, when I go camping or in anything, whether it's a travel trailer, or my car, my Prius, like I did, uh, then uh, it's just a matter of overcoming those things that make you uncomfortable. 
and once you've got most of those isolated or overcome then you get into enjoying the camping which makes it much nicer so having said that thumbs up carpe diem adios bye bye buy usa made when you can drink plenty of water three quarts a day will not hurt you you may pee like a racehorse or a two or three peckered possum but you'll feel a hell of a lot better and you'll get to know your restroom quite well take deep breaths breathe in through your nose out through your mouth do that several times a day that relieves stress which lowers your blood pressure lowering your blood pressure is good for your little heart and that's great makes you feel better and that's what it's all about <clears throat> do your stretches you know do your walking uh, keep your health and that way when you go camping you'll feel like you'll feel good and, and you know when you feel good good things happen when you feel bad you know the world's kind of flat but anyway having said that we had mail call the other day and then this thing were these made in the USA yes it even says so in the box or where is it I'll tell you where they're made uh, da, 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 da. made in whoops <laughs> it says I thought it said San Antonio Texas Heco in China god dang it you know the, the little old bitty prints you can't even read and I didn't take I didn't take a I didn't take a magnifying glass but anyway they're five bucks five dollars and fifty cents so what the hell Anyway, if you want to get in contact with me by the mail, it's Rusty, P.O. Box 1446, Kingsland, Texas, 78639, or PayPal to Rusty78609 at yahoo.com. And uh, so anyway, guys, looking for <clears throat> I'm looking forward to going to the camping soon, and uh, got to keep my health. That's all I need to worry about. Anyway, thumbs up, guys. Adios. Bye-bye. Now, this is going to be a trick, figuring out how to turn this thing off. <laughs> Okie dokie, off baby, off.